I said to you a few days ago, we were bound to hear about another big time golfer joining Live Golf because John Ram still has no team or no big players within his team. Now, Ryder Cup snubbed star Adrian Moronk has apparently made a huge U turn here. And it's always going to be a huge U turn because players deny it. And then when they get the right check, they go. He has made a huge U-turn and has apparently already signed with Live Golf. Now, let me support what I'm saying here. I told you we would see a big star joining, and here is our evidence. There's just far too many people pointing all in one direction. Now, the first article, golf.com, DP World Tour player of the year, Adrian Moronk has signed with Live Golf, according to reports. The next news outlet, ball striker, it's happening. The floodgates are open and Live Golf increases and PGA Tour decreases in strength. Picture of Adrian Moronk and Tyrrell Hatton. Another one here from Golf Central. According to multiple sources, Adrian Moronk is joining Live Golf. Golf Monthly echoing exactly the same. We also then have it from Nuclear Golf. Breaking news, Adrian Moronk, four-time DP World Tour winner and world number 39 is heading to Live Golf. And finally, Bunkered Magazine and Tom Kershaw all saying that this is happening or already has happened. It's just not being officially announced. Now, we're going to go into this story further. And just to give you some idea of who Tom Kershaw is, he is from the Times newspaper. So a big time reporter, right? He is in the know. And we hear from all our sources that this is already a done deal. Now, I'm also hearing, and I do believe, he is not going to be the only person to go and join. Till Hatton is in his final stages of negotiations. It's bound to happen. Players are taking a gamble because they realize, actually, we're probably going to get an agreement where we can play Ryder Cup, where we can play PJ Tour, where we can play DP World Tour. Let me take the money now. Pretty much what I think John Ram did. Now, if you do enjoy these breaking news stories, don't forget to subscribe. Turn the bell because that way I can keep you up to date with everything that's going on. And I told you this was going to happen. Here we have the first and there's going to be many more. So let's dive into this story a little more. Now, Adrian Moronk is set to join Live Golf. And just weeks after he indicated he would have no part in the breakaway circuit. He's a Polish player, 30 years old, and has been one of the best players on the DP World Tour in recent years, winning the Irish Open, Australian Open, Italio Italian Open over the past two seasons. And, and arguably, he was cruelly denied a Ryder Cup spot. Now, in hindsight, Luke Donald made the right decision. Team Europe was sensational. But going into the event, there was absolute uproar. And I felt pretty hard, harsh for him because he'd done everything but right? He'd done everything to get in that squad. Now, the reason why this is a little bit of a shock U-turn is simply because after a very good season, Moronk had earned a PGA Tour card through his finishing on the DP World Tour for the 2023 season, as well as winning the Seve Ballesteros Award in 2023 and voted Player of the Year by his peers. He also finished recently second place in the Dubai Desert Classic to Rory McIlroy. So we're talking about a player that is in some fine form and would definitely be a feather in the cap to live golf. Even though he's not a household name, he is definitely an astonishingly good player. Big, tall, hits it a long way. A great asset for team golf, or just a great asset for golf in general. Now, the rumors about Moronk started pretty much as John Ram's shock departure from the PGA Tour to live golf in around December time. But the Times newspaper reports... Moronk is set to be unveiled as a live golfer before the season opener in Mexico next week. He was set to make his first PGA Tour appearance this week at the Farmers Insurance Open at Torrey Pines Thursday. But a late withdrawal from the tournament on Wednesday came. Now, don't just take this from me. We got the PGA Tour communications here tweet on Twitter saying, AJ Moronk withdrew before the first round of the Farmers Insurance Open. Now, if you just got your PGA Tour card last year, why on earth would you withdraw from a big event? There's only one reason, isn't there? Everything, every source, every move is pointing towards Live Golf. 
Now, Liv has targeted PJ Tour stars since John Ram's departure late last year and rumored to as much as half a billion dollar move. Ryder Cup hero Tommy Fleetwood rejected it. Greg Norman fronted this league and fronted the whole approach, whilst Tyrrell Hatton is still yet to be confirmed. And he has confirmed he is in talks. And as I said at the start of this video, I do believe that one is going to get across the line. But don't forget to turn the bell on so I can notify you as soon as this happens. Although the move from Moronk to Live Golf would rule him out of the Ryder Cup contention before Beth Page Black in 2025. Now, that is under the current rules. And everything that we've heard from Roy McElroy is that he would still want John Ram to play in the Ryder Cup. Now, it can't be one rule for one and one rule for another. It has to be a blanket decision that all Live Golfers by some way, by hook or by crook, should be able to play in the Ryder Cup, if one of them is. So what Roy McIlroy saying is, he wants John Ram. so that means if Adrian Moronk goes, he has a chance still to make the Ryder Cup team next year. Like, you, you get me there, right? We can't have one rule for one and not the same rule for others. So this is why I think Adrian Moronk is taking a calculated gamble right now. In the simple idea that with the landscape rapidly changing with, within the game of golf each passing week, it's like a calculated gamble at the time with Live Golf edging closer to committing and standing alongside the PGA Tour. Live have offered players huge contracts, guaranteeing money, so it's lucrative and it's only 54 holes and he's going to probably have access to PGA Tour events. It just makes sense. It really, really does. And going back to my argument about Tyrrell Hatton, He's pretty much in the same boat as Adrian Moronk. Both haven't won a major. Arguably, Tyrrell Hatton is more of a household name. Both want to play in the Ryder Cup. Both have status on the DP World Tour and the PGA Tour. Why not just take a big payday? There's too many things pointing all in one direction. But that is the breaking news here today on Back Nine Films. Don't forget to subscribe, turn the bell, so I can keep you up to date with everything that's going on.